Hey, fam, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something super exciting lined up for you. We're diving into the world of subtraction, making it simple, easy, and fun. So, grab your notebooks, and let's get started. Before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's brush up on the basics. Subtraction is all about taking away one quantity from another. We use the minus sign to represent it. Don't worry, it's way simpler than it sounds. Let's walk through a few examples together. I'll break down the steps, and you can follow along. Ready? Let's do this. One digit subtraction. Let's say, we have to subtract number 4 from 5. At first, we have 5 balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now subtract 4 balls from these 5 balls. We have 1 remaining ball. That is our answer is 1. See? Easy peasy. Now, let's kick it up a notch. Borrowing and subtraction. Borrowing sounds like a tricky term, but it's a cool way of saying we're bringing down the tens. Check it out. As for borrowing and subtraction, suppose we need to perform subtraction between 21 and 7. As we see the 1 is less than 7. So we need to take a borrow from the side number that is 2. After taking the borrow the number 1 becomes 11, and the number 2 becomes 1. Now we can draw 11 balls and then subtract 7 of them. Now the number of remaining balls is 4. No number is downwards of 1, so it directly drops and the answer now is 14. Alright, now that we've got the hang of the basics, let me share some insider tips and tricks to make subtraction a walk in the park. Tip 1. Break it down. Breaking down a big problem into smaller parts can make it way more manageable. It's like solving puzzles, piece by piece. Practice mental maths. Flex those mental muscles. Practicing mental math not only speeds up your subtraction game but also boosts your overall math skills our guide to mastering subtraction. Remember, practice makes per- Subtraction isn't just for the classroom, it's everywhere. From budgeting to cooking, let me show you some real-life applications. Suppose I went to an ice cream truck to buy an ice cream. The ice cream cost $2 and I gave the owner a $5 note. So what is the amount I got as return? Yes, my maths geniuses, you are right. I got $3 in return. See subtracting numbers is that easy. And there you have it, our guide to mastering subtraction. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep those math gears turning. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell for more math magic. Until next time, happy subtracting. See you in the next one.